One of the surgical techniques with which we look after women with breast cancer is called nipple sparing mastectomy. In this operation, the breast tissue is removed, which has got cancer in it, but we spare the skin of the woman and we save her nipple. So when patient has reconstruction, her breast looks as natural and as normal as possible. In total mastectomy, surgeons remove the breast tissue along with the skin and nipple, leaving the woman with a flat chest. Whereas in nipple sparing mastectomy, the no original skin of the person, of the patient, right, let me start again. Whereas in nipple sparing mastectomy, we preserve the skin and the nipple of the patient we remove the cancer bearing area of the breast tissue and replace it with other type of tissue for breast reconstruction. So where a total mastectomy leaves a woman with a flat chest, nipple sparing mastectomy gives woman as natural appearance as possible. Over the last decade, a lot of progress has been made in nipple sparing mastectomy. We tend to offer this operation to women who have moderate sized breasts, who are of medium or small build, whose cancer is not too close to their nipple, and they are unlikely to receive radiotherapy after breast cancer treatment, though we have to choose patient on case by case basis to assess their suitability for nipple sparing to assess their suitability for nipple sparing mastectomy it depends what type of reconstruction a patient has after nipple sparing mastectomy for implant based reconstruction most women are independent and self-caring within 24 hours of surgery. They are able to eat and drink and go to toilet by themselves. And over the period of next two to three weeks, they make good recovery. However, if nipple sparing mastectomy is associated with reconstruction from um, a tummy flap, a bit of tissue taken from the tummy, then that will require about two or three days to become fully independent because of part of the abdominal part of surgery. And then most people recover within two to three weeks. Once a patient has uh, been offered nipple sparing mastectomy and reconstruction, mastectomy specimen is sent away to be looked under the microscope by our consultant histopathologists. Depending upon what they find, the patient would be offered after treatment, which is called a juvenile treatment of breast cancer. So they may require anti hormone tablets for next five to 10 years. They may require radiotherapy occasionally, or they may require chemotherapy. In some patients, more specialized treatment with um, uh, NTHER2, sorry, in some patient, more specialized treatment may be required depending upon the characteristics of cancer. And that discussion will take place between the patient and their oncologist to work out a personalized care plan for them. 